The people of Salem, Massachusetts, in the 1600s, lived in a culture that accepted the existence of the devil, assorted demons, and other evil spirits, including witches, and which encouraged them to blame any and all misfortune and conflict in the community on these supernatural causes. The people of the modern-day West live in a culture that largely accepts the existence of the patriarchy, rape culture, and cultural misogyny, and which encourages them to blame all misfortune and conflict in the community, from rape to domestic violence to the pay gap to male-only conscription, on these ethereal and unfalsifiable social constructs. The Salem witch trials began with accusations against an opposing camp, a rival family in the community engaged in a long-standing feud with the family of the accused. The flurry of recent sexual misconduct accusations in the atheist skeptic community essentially began with an invitation to continue a conversation over coffee, proffered by an unnamed man in an elevator. That invitation was ground zero for the splintering of that community into two rival camps, one which embraced skepticism and the rejection of any notion of an invisible, unmeasurable, superior power that rules all our lives, and one which embraced dogmatism. A witch hunt has begun in the skeptic community, one side asking for evidence and the other demanding blind faith. Who will prevail? God only knows. Join Alison Tiemann, also known as Typhon Blue, Della Burton of Breaking the Glasses, and me, Karen Strawn, alias Girl Writes What, as we unpack the rumors, anecdotes, innuendos, anonymous accusations, and trials by public opinion currently taking place in the skeptic and atheist communities on this week's installment of Honey Badger Radio.